Coming up in this video, we have made it to Belgium and are finally getting rid of the broken camper van. And we are checking into a hotel room in Brussels to wait out Denny's shipping delays. Hello, we are Ben, Rebecca, and Lucy, and this is our truck, Denny. For the past five years, we've been working towards the dream of driving around the world, and it's finally coming true. Welcome to our series of videos as we drive across America to the East Coast, prepare Denny for roll-on, roll-off shipping, drop him off at the Port of Baltimore, catch a flight to Italy, check into an Airbnb for a couple weeks, rent a camper van to drive to Belgium, wait out a week of shipping delays at a hotel in Brussels, Finally, we get reunited with Denny at the port of Zabrugi. Now, welcome to our journey. It's already 6.30 and you stayed in bed another half hour. Okay, well that was a very restful two nights and Guido and Nancy Hey, hey! Drug bottom. No joke. Um, Guido and Nancy really saved our tails because the batteries on this thing are junk and they allowed us to plug in and welcomed us into their home and their lives for 36, 48 hours. It was wonderful. And last night, Beck and I were talking that this is our life now. We are the foreigners. And you may not know this, but at our house in Alaska, when we'd go home for some, the summer, we would extend invitations out to local, uh, I mean, we'd extend invitations out to people that we saw who were traveling. They'd just be like, Fabian and Isabella of Live and Give 4x4. We saw their vehicle parked in a lot. We put a little note, hey, love to meet you guys. And they came over. We had a wonderful time uh, last, well, maybe not last summer, but in the summer of 2020, Vibes of Panama, uh, that's the IG handle, they were in Alaska, and Beck and I were doing a quirky Christmas in July dinner, just totally coincidentally, and they came over, and we made our traditional Christmassy types of uh, American food and watched traditional movies like Home Alone and now I don't know if it's all coming back like good deeds to us but we are now the visitors and this is our life and it's, it's amazing. I think it's just the natural uh habit of people who live this lifestyle. Guido and Nancy are fellow travelers. They overlanded across the U.S. They traveled in Australia, Australia New Zealand, and other places. Uh, and, and when I offered to pay for something, it was, oh no, we're fellow overlanders. Pay it forward. That's how it works in this community, and it's, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It's wonderful because the best part of traveling is getting to know locals. They made us local foods and local drinks and we got to learn about Christmas traditions because Christmas is right around the corner and um, things that you don't get when you're just a tourist staying in a hotel, you get to experience when people welcome you into their home. And that's wonderful. It's absolutely, it was just a beautiful way to end this leg of our journey and, and be all that much closer to picking up Denny. And if you ever find yourself in this neck of the woods, and we'll link their website in the description, but uh, Camping Maka is extraordinary. Uh, the beauty of, of the area, um, very different terrain from just earlier in France where it was all rolling hills and farmland and green grass to you're in the middle of a forest and uh, they're right on a river this beautiful slow deep meandering river there were fish jumping in front yes oh it's torturous yes camping maca is fabulous they have a beautiful little restaurant there and wonderful camp spots right on the river it's just lovely. So when you're in Belgium, be sure to come and see Nancy and Guido at Camping Maca and tell them we sent you.
Now this is a hazard for Lucia. This thing is, it won't, look at this. Oh. I'm about to lose my. And there's the heaviest stuff we have in this thing, like all of our glass bottles, if they fell on her, they'd hurt her so bad. <gasps> you know, I tolerate this to a point, and then I just lose my stuff. Stuff. Me. There's nothing in the way. But the little thing is working. There's no reason this shouldn't hold. Now, what am I supposed to do? Now that we know of it, we can't unsee it. But if like this olive oil bottle fell in the sea, it Well, let's get, I guess, let me pull over it a little more. Let's get the heavy out. This van. And it's not the van's fault. There's nothing wrong with the van for se because things break in RVs, vans, campers. It is complete and utter lack of maintenance and quality of product that these people are renting. Ugh. You know, I really think we might have dodged a bullet, honey, because our our truck, Denny, is delayed about a week, and we actually entertained the idea, hey, let's just rent this camper van for seven more days. Thankfully, they had it booked out, so when we return it, it's gonna kinda turn and burn to somebody new the same day. Oh, we dodged a bullet there. Uh, I don't know. Were we just ignorant or naive to think that you rent from a, a modern looking camper van with, you know, totally tacky cheeky branding on the side and it would be adequate and good and things would work? Is that too much to ask? What can I say? By this point, our patience and tolerance was wearing thin. But once again, we got lost in the views of the countryside. Hopefully, a rest area breakfast will lift our spirits. Just want me to go in and pick things out? Yeah. You speak the tongue. <laughs> Poorly, but oui. Pour le petit déjeuner aujourd'hui, uh, nous servons deux panini, une avec uh, tomate et mozzarella, et une avec poulet. Mm. Bon appétit. In English? In English, uh, we have two paninis for breakfast today. One has mozzarella and tomato, and one has grilled chicken. I bet some of you guys didn't know that Rebecca's fluent in French. I am not fluent anymore. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> but I can get by. We've always kind of joked because in Mexico, she'll like bust out some <laughs> Spanglish and French and all the like, turn around and like, uh. What she, did you She'd be like, say, merci beaucoup. And I'm like, uh. Gracias, honey. <laughs> okay, let's eat. Bon appetit. Looks mm. cheesy. Mm -hmm. And there's tomato. Mm -hmm. Okay, camera's gotta go away because I'm really, really hungry. This was it. We are heading into Brussels to flush the rolling turd out of our lives. And conveniently, their office was located right next to the airport. Fuso. Hey, hi Fuso. Mitsubishi Fuso, but it's a canter. Yeah, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. Little zig, little zag. The houses look quite charming. They do. Completely a new look from what we're used Very to seeing good. on a day-to-day -day basis. Very much so. Yeah. Very beautiful. Your destination is on the right. Et voila. Okay. Let's get rid of this thing. Mm -hmm. Hello. English? Yes. Okay, yeah. We're dropping this off. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, can you park, park or just stay in the middle? Uh, between the, those two white ones, please? Okay. We need about 30 minutes to pack our belongings. Ah, even better then. Okay. And I'll be there inside. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay all moved out of the camper, this is our stuff. 
it's way too much stuff to be traveling with normally, but we're kind of moving here. Now, waiting for an Uber. Now that we're on our way to the hotel, I'd like to say a few things. Despite all our complaints about the rental van, we were very impressed with the Fiat chassis. It rode nicely, had plenty of power, and I never did the math, but I'm guessing it got about 25 miles per gallon. Upon returning the van, the representative was kind and apologetic. He said he would rather cancel a reservation than to send a van out in this condition. He gave me a corporate email address for the agency, and I sent them a message about our experience. They replied with an apology and kindly offered us a 115 euro refund of our 620 euro rental fee. I'm not sure if that makes it all better, but it was at least an effort and hopefully we helped someone else from having an experience like ours. Since we had so much stuff, we had to get an Uber van to our hotel room. The driver was very nice and we took his business card in case we opted to use him to pick up Denny from the port. As we made our way towards the city center, I was quite impressed with the local art scene. It appears that almost every vertical surface had a mural. The artistic painting subsided though as we entered the city center. The unique and beautiful architecture of these old cities is a welcomed sight. Yes, yes, yes. This is it. Thank you very much. We are here. This is our home for the week. Uh, we might be able to get an early check-in, but it's a very walkable neighborhood. The architecture is so new and unique to us. Yeah, this will work for a week. Hopefully it's only a week because we want to be on the road traveling. We would like to thank the Outliers community for supporting production of these videos. You guys are the best. Click join on our YouTube channel for early video releases, exclusive content, increased engagement, and so much more. Well, our things are already in here, so it's a bit of a mess though, to begin with. But before we unpack everything, I thought I'd show you our room. Uh, we have this little entryway on here. So there's like a door to the hallway and then a door to our room and a door to one another. We have a kitchen with a stove top, a dishwasher, uh, cabinets, cabinets with cooking stuff, all of our plates and cups, micro, I mean, uh, refrigerator, microwave, toaster, coffee pot, and teapot. Then we have a living room with a couch and a little chair, dining room table, television, and um, I don't know if we'll be able to use it, but this door opens right out onto the Oh, really? Area. We are on the ground level. Yeah. Oh, it went. Oh my. <laughs> Lucy, mom and papa got a real easy job to <laughs> take care of you. Oh, that is so nice. I'll take that. So this is the living area. And then through these smoky doors, we have our bedroom, full length mirror, a desk if Ben so chooses to work there, another television. I hope this bed is comfortable. Oh, that looks a lot more comfortable than the bed in Milano. Oh my gosh. And this, for the piece de resistance, Ta -da! If you've been around the channel for any length of time, you know my feelings uh, about bathtubs. This bathroom is about five times the size as Milano. Three. And. Okay. Wow. A toilet seat that is not broken. <laughs> oh, this will be perfect. Good job picking this one, honey. I worked so hard on this because. Well, this was an unknown twist. Yeah. Like our truck is supposed to be here today. Yeah. So this was a last minute thousand dollar expense. You don't want to pay for lodging you don't need. And so, uh, but when one thing I read and the reason we are in central Brussels, like the arc is right at the end of this block. Um, Everything I kept reading when people were staying out in the suburbs, 
it doesn't feel safe, we didn't go out of the hotel, it wasn't safe to walk around, we didn't feel safe, over and over and over, and even men were saying that. And uh, whereas when I looked at more central Brussels where the tourism kind of really happens, I didn't see any of that, and it was what I normally experience in reading reviews for Brussels. Okay, that is a wrap. Thanks for watching, and hopefully in the next video we pick up our truck, Denny. And hopefully we also stop complaining. <laughs> All right. Europe is again under siege and racking up record case numbers. So one of the things that we are doing, I'm just saying I'm a germaphobe, but I know. Beck's mom gave us this little uh, UV thing, light. UV light, and it's supposed to kill stuff. And I definitely want to address the pillows because your face gets right up on them. And kind of makes you wonder, is this like one of those black lights that they do in the crime scene movies where, oh, yeah, there's semen. We got semen. So I hope I don't see semen.